Hi, we have here a solenoid with an air core, meaning there's nothing inside the coils. For such a solenoid, the magnetic flux density produced is actually very weak. But if you insert some iron into the solenoid, we now have what is an iron core solenoid. And the magnetic flux density of an iron core solenoid is much, much, much stronger than the air core solenoid. Actually, you are aware of this since primary school. Remember the standard experiment that your primary school teacher made you do? So you actually have a solenoid, right? Without the nail, the magnetic field produced by the solenoid will be very weak and it's not able to attract the paper clips. So the nail was inserted to make it a iron core solenoid. Suddenly, you have a very strong magnetic field. Now, why is that so? It turns out every atom in that nail is like a tiny, tiny magnet. Every atom has electrons and there's something called the electron spin, which means that every atom is able to produce a magnetic field. But before the nail got magnetized, the magnetic field of all the atoms are not in the same direction. You have groups of atoms, I don't know how many, maybe a few billions of them, which are pointing in one direction. And then you have another group of atoms which are pointing in another direction and another group in another direction. So every group is called a magnetic domain. But because the magnetic field of every domain is pointing randomly in all directions, they all sum up to zero. So overall, as a nail, the nail has no magnetic field. However, if we apply an external magnetic field, so that solenoid is providing that external magnetic field. When you have the external magnetic field, the magnetic field of all the magnetic domains will start to align in the same direction as the external magnetic field. Now all the magnetic fields of all these magnetic domains now sum up to be a very large magnetic field. In fact, the resultant magnetic field is often many many thousands of times stronger than the external magnetic field that triggered it. Let me think of an analogy. Mm. So every magnetic domain here could be one of your classmates. Huh? So this guy could be singing Taylor Swift. This guy could be singing loudly uh, Jay Chow's song. This one could be singing, I don't know who else is there. Bruno Mars. Yeah? So everybody is screaming their lungs out, screaming their own song. So overall, what is that song? Nothing lah, it's just noise, man. It's just noise. But let's say now somebody plays Taylor Swift over the PA system. Very softly. Taylor Swift very softly on the PA system. And then now every of your classmates starts to sing Taylor Swift. So now it's no longer noise. You hear a very loud and clear Taylor Swift song. Much louder than what is played by the PA system. Hmm, never mind. So the magnetic permeability is actually a measure of how susceptible a substance is for its magnetic domains to align to an external magnetic field. And materials which are highly permeable, so materials which are easily magnetized, are called ferromagnetic. And there aren't many ferromagnetic materials actually. There's the iron, cobalt, nickel, and that's about it. But there are many, many, many thousand times more permeable compared to free space. And all the other materials, everything except this field, are non-ferromagnetic and they are just about as permeable as the vacuum. So if somebody asks you what is the purpose of inserting the iron core in the solenoid, one way to answer is to say well so that the iron itself get magnetized and the magnetic field it produces is actually much 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 stronger than the magnetic field of the solenoid which triggered it. Or you can just say that oh with an air core the magnetic flux density is given by mu naught and i. Mu naught is the permeability of free space, vacuum. But once you insert the iron core, then the magnetic flux density is given by mu and i, but the mu now is the permeability of iron, which is hundreds if not thousands of times larger than the permeability of free space. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!